is called Dasha. And today we are going to be uh, looking at a chapter in the Develop in Swift Fundamentals course. The specific project you will be doing is a guided project called Light, where you're going to create an app that will display a white screen. And when you tap the screen, the white screen will change to black. And when you tap it again, it will change back to white. So it functions like a flashlight. So first of all, launch Xcode. Click create a new Xcode project. So here I will choose the app template and click next. And I will name this project light. Now I click next. I will put it on the desktop and click create. The user interface uh, is in main.storyboard. So I'm going to click main.storyboard. So that opens the storyboard in interface builder. Here is the document outline. And you will see there is one view controller scene representing the screen that is presented when you run your app. So I'm going to expand view controller scene. And I'll click on the view controller. Inside the identity inspector, this view controller is of type view controller. And uh, the code for this view controller is contained in viewcontroller.swift. Before I run my app, I'm going to click the Sheen menu and choose iPhone SE. And in the canvas, you can see that it is set to iPhone 11. I'm also going to change that to iPhone SE. You can see the screen now has changed to suit the iPhone SE. I'm going to go ahead and click the play button. What that does, that, that will build my app, launch the simulator, and run my app in the simulator. As you can see, there is nothing on the screen at present. We will change that shortly. Click on the stop button to stop your app from running. Now I'll select the view for the view controller. And I'll click on the attributes inspector. Note that the background color for this view has been set to white. Now I'll add a button that will be used to change the view's background color. I click on the plus button. That opens the library. Here I can find a button or I can use the search field. By typing button into the search field, I should get the button object in the search results. Drag the button object in the library to the top of the view. Now as you can see in the document outline, button has been added as a subview. I will now move this button to the upper left corner of the view. until it snaps to the margin alignment guides. Note that you can actually zoom by using the trackpad. Next, I'll give my button an action to perform when it's clicked or tapped. Uh, I'm gonna add an assistant editor using the adjust editor options button. And I'll choose assistant. So this splits the Xcode workspace into two parts, interface builder and its corresponding code. I'm going to collapse the navigator area and the inspector area. So that gives me a bit more room to work with. To establish a connection between the button and my code, I'll control drag the button into an available area within the view controller class definition. Holding down the control key now and drag. In the popover that appears, make sure the connection is set to action. Set name to button pressed. And 
and set that to UI button. Click connect. And Xcode will create a new method, button pressed, that will be called whenever the button is tapped. Now note the IB action keyword. This signals to Xcode that a relationship can be created between a visual element in the storyboard and the method. To verify that the method is being called, I'll place a breakpoint within the method definition. All I have to do is click in the margin to create the breakpoint. Now I'll build and run the app. You can see the button on the upper left corner. Tap on the button. And the breakpoint will be triggered, verifying the action is working correctly. I will stop my program now and remove the breakpoint. I'll need something to hold the state of the screen. So I will create a variable called light on. And I'll set the initial value to true. So light on will represent the state of the screen. Since the screen starts with a white background, the initial value for light on will be true. Now, light on is of type boolean. Swift booleans have a method called toggle that changes the value to be the opposite of the original value. Now in button pressed, I'll add some code to toggle light on. After the value has been changed, I'll use an if statement to change the background color. So if light on is true, set the background color to white, otherwise set the background color to black. Now I'll build and run my app. Let's see what happens when you tap on the button. So the background changes to black. I'll tap on the button again. Background will change to white. I'm going to stop my app now. Rather than put the if statement directly inside button pressed, I can move it to a new method that will be responsible for handling the updating of the entire user interface. So first, I'll select the entire if statement. From the editor menu, choose Reflector. And from the submenu, choose Extract to Method. So what Xcode does is move the code out from the button press method into a new method. And as you can see, it enters a special editing mode that allows me to set the new method's name and update where it's called at the same time. So I will type update UI and press the return key to set the name. So here is the new method, update UI. And here is the method call. Now, note the file private keyword. This means that this method can only be called within this file. Next, I'll change the button title to match the state of the background color. I'll need to create an outlet for the button so that I can have a reference to it. Go back into main.storyboard. I'll control drag the button in Interface Builder to an empty space at the top of the view controller's definition in the editor area. In the popover, verify that outlet is selected. Name is set to light button. Storage is set to strong. Type is UI button and click connect. 
Now I'll be able to make changes to the button programmatically. Next, I need to find the right place to update the button's title. I will add a breakpoint to the first line of the button press method. I'll now build and run my app and tap the button. So when I tap the button, the code will pause before executing the line with a breakpoint. So to execute this line, I click the step over button. Now you can see that the line highlighted is the update UI method. To go into the method, I tap step into. Now the app is paused just before executing the first line of the update UI method. If the light is on, the button's title should read off, else it should read on. So now I need to know how to actually change this. I'll need to refer to the documentation. I will now stop the program. From the help menu, choose developer documentation. I will scroll down until I see configuring the button title. Here, I'll find a method to set the title, this method. I will now click on this method, and it gives me the function declaration and a list of parameters. The first parameter is the desired text. The second is uicontrol.state. Since I don't know what I should set for uicontrol.state, I will click it. So uicontrol.state represents the different potential states of a button. For instance, is it sitting idle? Or is it that the user has tapped on it? Or is the button disabled? So when the button is enabled and sitting idle on the screen, this is the normal state. I will close the window, go back into my code, remove the breakpoint, And I will now modify the method. So the code I've added will change the title of the button to off if light on is true and will change the title of the button to on if light on is false. I will now build and run my app. And tap the button. As you can see, it works as expected. When the screen is white, the button's title is off. When the screen is black, the button's title is on. Note that when you run this app for the first time, the title of the button is just button. It is not on or off. So there's a bug there. So I will modify my app to call the update UI method when the view first loads. So to do that, I will update view did load. Now I call update UI within view did load, so it is called the moment the app is launched. As you can see, the button's title is now set correctly. Next I look at improving the aesthetics of my app. I don't need text here because it's pretty clear when the light is on or off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the button text from the button. 
and make the button take over the whole screen. Stop the app. Go back to main.storyboard. Minimize the navigator area so that you have more room to work with. And I will now remove the button text from the button. I will also change the size of the button so that it takes over the entire screen. Next, I will remove the code that changes the button text. Now I'll select the button in Interface Builder and I'll click on the Connections Inspector button. Here you can see a connection between the button and the outlet. I will click the tiny X to break the connection. Now I can delete the declaration of light button. Note that this is now a circle that does not have a dot in it, meaning there is no longer a connection between this and the item that is on the storyboard. Build and run your app. Now tapping anywhere on the screen will change the background color. The final change I will do is to change the if else statement to a ternary operator. So here you can see background color will be set according to the value of light on. If light on is true, background color will be set to white. If light on is false, background color will be set to black. Build and run your app. And it works just as it did before. So this concludes the lesson. I hope you have found it interesting and informative. And I hope to see you again soon. Stay safe and take care.